this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use some of the commonly used financial functions in Excel. And this will be the payment rate, the interest payment rate, and the principal payment rate. And this primarily has, to, of course, to do with mortgages and things of that nature. There are a lot of different financial calculations, and you can see them here under the financial column or category under the formulas area. And as you can see, it's a lot of them. So let's assume that we are taking a loan for 600000 for our business. And the loan is going to be for the 6% rate. Nowadays, it's actually lower, a little bit lower, maybe like 3%. And usually, they'll tell you, and that 3%, it's APY. You probably have seen that, the interest payment per year. So what that means is that it's going to be for 12 months of that year, and that is 3% for 12 months. And that means that for each month, that interest payment, it's going to be, let's say at 3%, it's going to be this rate. You can kind of see it over here. So it will be, you're dividing B2, which is the rate that you're getting, dividing it by 12 months. If you're getting a mortgage for a home, your mortgage would be, let's say, for a fixed 30 years or 20 years or whatever it may be. So in this case, you have the number of years then you have to calculate that for number of payments that you have to make over 30 years so in this case for example you have 30 years times 12 months per year that means it's you have 360 payments for that loan of six hundred thousand dollars and then pv is the present value of that loan so that's the amount that you're getting so when you're doing these financial calculations usually the formula as you'll see right here say if we want to get the payment per month here and i'll do a search for pmt you'll notice that it uses the rate value it needs the nper the number of payments the present value basically you just need these the first three pieces here so the reason why we had to do all of these other calculations was because the rate, it wants the rate per month. And then the NPER, it, the number of payments overall for the lifetime of the loan, and then present value is that. So, so the way you do it, you go back here under insert function. We have PMT. You could search up here, of course. Double click on it and then we want the rate then we want also the NPER the number of payments and then the PV it's the present value what's your loan and then the FV and that type of stuff is a future value and so on you don't need to worry about those for this calculation notice they're not in bold there so then we click OK and our first payment, or the monthly payment, it would be for $600,000 a loan for 30 years at 3%, it would be $2,529. Now, let's suppose that you didn't get it at 3% because your credit was not that great. You got it at 6% because you just decided to go on vacation every so often. You hit enter, notice, same amount, same length of time, but your payment almost doubled per month. And that's because your interest rate, it's almost doubled. Now let's do this at less. So let's say you're buying a house for $200,000. Your payment at 6%, it would be $1,199, almost $2,000 a month. And if you are able to get a better rate, interest rate, let's say at 4%, notice your rate will go down at 954 so you get the idea if you were to buy a car let's say and you want to look for a car and the car cost nineteen thousand dollars you can do the calculation exactly the same way of course nowadays you can get the iphone out and just search it but and let's say you're getting for five years which would be five here the number of years 
and let's say it was four percent that's 349 dollars a month and but if it is seven percent for whatever reason you're paying 376 a month and then if you had a credit card debt of nineteen thousand dollars and you're paying let's say initially 14 percent that's 442 every month and then if you're paying 29 percent you're paying 603 a month so you get the idea that what loans and what how that all that works so let's go back to a house example here let's say four percent it's going to be over 30 years and it's a two hundred thousand dollar loan or mortgage your payment is 954 a month so that's payment per month so the pmt it's rate number of payments and the pv you can also calculate the interest payment how much are you paying in interest every month out of this 954 how much is the bank making the first month that you got it so here's how you calculate the and let's do that calculation down here under ipmt we go under formulas we click on insert function and we are going to search for ipmt and then double click on it we choose the rate here is our rate the period for which you want to find the interest so the period would be the first payment let's say so it's slightly different it's not going to be posted here so it's going to be let's say the first payment that you're going to make and then the NPER it's this number number of payments over the lifetime of the thing of the loan and then you have also the present value and then you just click OK so number one there was the first payment we want to find the interest that you're going to pay on the first payment of your new house that you just bought notice out of $954 a month $667 almost is interest on that first payment that's why it's important to save the money for the first payment for the mortgage and so on now if you wanted to find out how much interest you're going to pay let's say at the end of the first year all you have to do is you come here to your formula and you say on the 12th payment and on the 12th payment it was only 655 instead of 667 so now let's change this back to the first payment so we get an idea here and now for here we're going to figure out what the principal payment would be for the first time it's basically going to be the difference between these two so how much are you paying for the actual loan of two hundred thousand dollars so in this case you just click on again under formulas insert function and then your function there will be ppmt principal payment amount click ok so our rate again it's that we want to find uh, the principal payment on the first time that you're paying this loan the first payment in the beginning and you can change it of course to the last one if you want it NPER it's the number of payments for the duration of the loan so if it's 30 years it's going to be 360 months and then the PV it's the value of the loan and then we leave the rest alone here we click OK know this only $288 out of $200,000 your $200,000 loan go to your actual loan amount the rest is interest on the first payment pretty depressing so you now you get the idea is how this some of this stuff works and just see how you can explore the other functions here as well financial functions of course as business majors or as other users out there in business you can just see what they do and of course google them or find a rate and a lot of stuff so that's financial calculations in brief